Hello, this is Dr. Paul Catrella, and I am doing a quick video just to do a correction that one of the subscribers uh, noticed. I um, misstated a date, uh, so I just want to make that correction and just go over the zoom out view of this whole setup that I did. So I've been looking at this for a couple of years now, all right, um, this kind of this setup, but um, but what I want to what I want to go over here is is that this video is showing the weekly chart. So we're zooming it out so you can see where I started the fib sequence. Now you can start the fib sequence in the 2015 year or at the very beginning of the 2016 year because they're basically um, you know pretty much at the same level. There's not much of a difference. So you'll get the same answer um, going off of the correction that was taking place in 2015 or the correction that's taking place in 2016. So on this, on this, um, it's on in 2016. Uh, the way you read this is that this section here is 2015. This section here is 2016, 2017, yada, yada, yada. And then here is, uh, uh, um, 2023. So we have a fib sequence to the 2016 year, or you can have it to the 2015 year. It doesn't matter. You get the same answer. And then you have a fib sequence that, that, uh, goes down or goes down to the, that correction that we had during COVID. So that's happening in 2020 and then goes all the way up to, um, goes all the way up to the high point for the S&P 500. And that kind of peaks at about, at about um, the beginning of the year of 2022, maybe the very end of 2021, right? And we have a bear market and that bear market kept on happening until you had the actual you hit the actual support level of the 50% retracement of the covid fib sequence so that 50% retracement off of the off of the uh co uh, covid fib sequence starts to bounce up there's volatility there's you know negative news about you know interest rate hikes and you know bank failures and going through this whole sequence here but it starts in approximately 2022 in october all right and um what is interesting here is is that that is such a strong floor because that's the 50 that's the 50 percent retracement that i was stating for many months now that the the um the two floors to look at for the S&P 500 if you're buying spy as the index um the ETF was 347 and 330 all right why because that's the fib, the 50% retracement for the covid sequence crisis and then the 50% retracement off of the 2016 fib sequence or the 2015 uh, fib sequence they're basically the same now the the point here is that once we hit the broke through that resistance level of the 23% retracement that's a really strong buy and you can kind of see that the algorithmic traders were like going okay it hit it hit the 23% retracement, fade it. Um, and so it was going down. Uh, and then, you know, it retested. It took some time. It took a little bit of time because each one of these candles is a weak candle. One week of, of, of trading. And then it broke through. So, so we are now, a, you know, several days um, with a very bullish uh, signal above that resistance point of 
417. So because of that, this, this will continue to rally and test the, the high. So in the previous video, I misread it, you know, because I'm bouncing back between different things, between medicine and finance here. I misread it and I, I stated uh, 2021. And what I really wanted to say is that the, the, the bull market started in October of 2022 and that the bear market started in roughly the very end of 2021 or started the very beginning of 2022. Um, so your bear market was basically from, from about January of 2022 to October, around October 13th or so of 2022. So I apologize for, for stating the wrong year um, on when the bull market restarts. And uh, this gives you a little bit uh, better zoom view of what I was talking about because the previous video, I just showed you the day, the day candles. Uh, this get, shows the week candles and, and uh, it, it zooms out more on where I was building up that fib sequence. And, and again, if you're doing this at home, you could build that fib sequence. You get basically the same support levels. If you build a sequence off of this, this um, uh, correction activity that was taking place back in uh, 2020, uh, back in um, 2016, at the very beginning of 2016, or you build it off of the uh, 2015 correction. So hopefully that that uh, helps everybody if they're if you are doing this at home and you're you know setting things up to try to follow along. And uh, we'll continue updating this periodically, talking about and what will be interesting is how this will be tested. Most likely, you know, we'll have a little bit of undulation as we're moving towards the 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 high of you know almost 480. And, um, you know, probably bounce down. And so there'll be some market activity, but I suspect that we'll test the, the, the high point, come down a little bit and then retest and then break through and then, you know, continue rallying. But again, you know, there's going to be undulations, there's going to be ups and downs. But uh, I, I think that the bull, I, I think that the uh, bear market is done and the bull market has started. So I, uh, I apologize for stating 2021 instead of 2022 for the start of the new market. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe to all my channels. I have three YouTube channels. I have uh, Bright Town, Bitch Shoot, and Rumble. Please go there. Also go to Patreon and uh, subscribe there to help support my news coverage. I cover a lot of different things. And uh, if you could, please go to my store, the-studio-reykjavik.com, the-studio-reykjavik.com. All the links are in, the, in my videos, so you can just go in the description and click the links. And go to the store and take a look at the different health products that I offer. I offer nano silver liquids and gels, soaps and lozenges. I offer a plethora of different supplements. I offer C60, which is a very strong antioxidant. And I have all natural deodorants that are in citrus and in peppermint tea tree. So please take uh, the opportunity to go to the store and see if there's anything that, that uh, you could use to improve your health. In addition, I also sell a very, very good toothpaste it's a nano silver toothpaste. It does not have any fluoride in it. And it's a, um, what, what's unique about it is, is that it's going to not only whiten your teeth and, you know, obviously freshen your breath, but because of the, the nano silver structure, the structural nano, nano silver, that it will um, neutralize pathogens. And when you can neutralize pathogens, then you're going to improve your cardiovascular health 
and you're also going to improve the um, the gum health and prevent the the plaque and the the bacteria that's growing around or in around um, in the uh, around your gums. And um, when you do that, that will reduce the chances of getting uh, plaques and bacteria into your bloodstream and, and causing cardiovascular problems. So thank you for listening. Please, uh, again, subscribe to my channels and uh, uh, pay attention to the, to the regular updates that I provide. Thank you for listening. Have a nice night.